I think if somebody were to look at me and the way I do things, it's so much like seeing Gina because that's what I learned from and that's what I watched. It is such an incredible thing to see where Lena is right now and knowing how far she's gonna go. You could just tell that Lena saw greatness in herself early on. Like Lena, there was, like you knew she was gonna be somebody. It's not just a talent that she has, um, it's the hustle and the personality. Like people want to help her because she's so genuine and authentic and, and warm and cool. I always think of this story when people talk about advice because Gina is a little shy. Uh, I won't say standoffish, I'll say shy. <laughs> and it was my job as her assistant, and Gina gets a lot of these requests and you probably continue to get them, to come do panels and, and things like that. There was this one time where I was like, can you go to this panel? And she was like, what am I gonna say? Like, what advice am I gonna give? And I was like, I don't know, there's probably some young black female director that wants to hear your story <laughs> and what you have to say. And I, and I said, what advice would you give? You know, to, the, to that director, she said, be great, be great. And I was like, that's it? That's all you would say? And I just remember remembering that. And now when I was on some panel, I remember telling that story. And I remember thinking, it's actually the best advice, you know, one can give. Um, because especially if you're someone who is othered, who's marginalized, who people don't expect greatness from, you that's, that's the only choice you have. And I think that those two words continue to resonate inside of me or whenever I'm talking to people. I'm like, if you're great, somebody's gonna take notice. If you're okay, you'll sort of be like everybody else. Lena, once uh, she stopped working for me, uh, she, wanted to be, she wanted to be a writer. That was her, her dream. And she sent me a script that she was working on and it's so nerve wracking to get that first thing because it's like, what if it sucks? But it was really good. And I was like, oh my God, I, I see this. And it was, it was such a great story and uh, such a great character and, and the lead character was gay. And I, there was a moment where I said to her, this is so good. The relationship uh, that this woman has with this other woman is so dope, but it would be easier if you made it, you know, a guy and a girl. Mm -hmm. And what do you think about that? She didn't have anything yet, like no deals, no, opportunities yet to be a writer. And she was like, this is the story I want to tell. And it's important to me. And the fact that, that she hung on to that and was strong um, way back then just says volumes about her. And that's, that's what you need. You need to have that belief in yourself that your story deserves to be told. And also the belief that you're the one that's gonna tell the story. And I've just never forgotten that. And that I think is, is why she's who she is today. Thanks, Jim.